If you have also applied for any of uh, the vacancies in Indigo, whether it's for any ground staff position or for a cabin crew position, and you're waiting for your invitation letters and you want to know more about the process and what happens in personal interviews and what are the rounds and stages, then you must watch this video. Hi everyone, my name is Twinkle and welcome back to my channel. As promised in my last video where I told you about how to spot the difference between a fake and a genuine email interview invitation email, which I am going to flash here or here. If you haven't checked them out, go ahead. It's very important, very, very useful and helpful. Coming back to the topic of this video uh, in this video i'm going to tell you how and uh, what are the process is uh, whether you have applied for a ground staff whether you've applied for a cabin crew what are the stages what are the types of questions being asked whether it's a telephonic interview or a personal interview face to face or a walk-in uh, so without any further ado let's get into the video but if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then please go ahead subscribe to the channel like this video share the video and if you're not following me on my instagram yet then i don't know what you're doing go ahead follow this instagram handle as i do a lot of informative posts and stories which might be very very helpful for you on that note let's jump into the video so there are a lot of uh, vacancies coming up from uh, indigo airlines and uh, uh, in case of ground staff, there are vacancies for ramp staff, for customer service agents, security staff, and so are their invites. So there are some candidates who are getting uh, telephonic interviews, especially uh, for the posts of ground staffs. They are getting telephonic interviews. Why? Because they want to screen and they want to filter initial screening. They will do, they will filter out the people who cannot even speak, who are not impressive on phone calls because most of the tasks, if in ground staff is also dependent upon how you talk on the phone, how you deal on your the customers on your first call. So they are filtering, the recruiters are calling you for telephonic interviews, they are doing conversations with you and a lot of people are getting rejected as well. So if you're rejected, this is the kind of email that you're going to get from them. After a telephonic interview, you are being invited for a video interview session or a Skype session and then you are being invited for a face to face interview. Now, most of the uh, most of you all who are actually talking to me by which, you know, the, the resource for this video is you guys. So have told me that now they've stopped doing uh, uh, video interviews like they are there, but the v frequency has gone down. But nowadays what happens is either you're getting a telephonic interview and you're being selected and called for a face-to-face -face interview. You're sent in the details of the venue and you're being called. Apart from that, there are some people, some candidates who are getting uh, direct invitations, like generic invitations where you are being invited. Like just after the application, some of them are not even getting telephonic calls. They are just being invited for to a venue at a time as a walk-in interview and they go there and then they have a few rounds and then all the rounds are done in one day and they get to know if they are selected or no so with these kind of different different things that is happening all around india there are different processes as well so don't get confused you can get either a telephonic interview call and you will be guided for further steps or you can be directly invited to a venue uh, if you fall under a category of selected candidate or maybe just generic candidates who will be selected, you know, one round, second round, and if you're not selected, you just get filtered out and the one who fits in the category will move forward. So before I get into the questions, I want to show you the kind of emails a ground staff and a cabin crew is receiving. So let's take you through the kind of emails that you're, you can expect from the Indigo Airlines. So this is the kind of email you'll get. They talk about the first thing is criteria. Graduation is uh, mandatory. If you're not a graduate, if you've applied, then don't even consider going. Just sit back and relax and wait for you to be, uh, become a graduate. Second thing is the desired skills that of course you have to be fluent and things like that. Airport experience preference. So if you have previous experience of airport jobs or any other ground staff jobs, of course, preference will be given. Your age should be up to 27 years and not more than that. No tattoo, no body art. And in case you do not make it, 
you uh, can reapply only after six months. Now, a few emails I've seen six months and a few emails I've seen three months. So it depends. That's what I'm saying. There's no uniformity. If you know what I'm talking, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you must watch this video about fake and the genuine emails so you can identify the actual email that you should be giving attention to okay so yes about the documents they talk about you should be carrying your Aadhaar card apart from your CV and resume which is mandatory you should be having your graduation mark sheet provisional certificate a photocopy of your email or the invitation email which is uh, the one I showed you this is the, the the email that you get of course you have to take a copy of that it is mandatory and you will not be allowed entry uh, if you don't have that and for the cabin crew this is the kind of email that you can expect as an invitation for face-to-face -face interview or a walk-in interview so first of things that you need to take in mind is that the aircraft they are going to train you as that what they're looking at is you usually ATRs that will be mentioned in the emails. They're talking about the formals, the kind of business attire you're supposed to wear for the day. Of course, very important printout of the invite that you're going to get. So if this is the email that you get, the copy of this is mandatory. Your PAN card, your Aadhaar card, of course, you must take it even if they don't say it here. Your passport because cabin crew, of course. CV and your passport size photo so they're not really requesting you um, to get a full size photograph but if you have it that's good uh, you should be on time because of course it's a slot system so you need to be on time anyway you should not be late being on time is also late I would say that you should be before time so be before time you should be flexible to reallocate and you should be flexible to relocate and they've also told you that travel arrangements are on your own the expenditure that you incur is on your own and they are asking you to be prepared because all the rounds if you're going for a walk-in or a face-to-face -face, whatever interview will be very very long so be prepared for a long day especially for people from outstation if you're going to come uh, from some other city be prepared for that that you're going to take a long uh, time it will be a very very long day for you so be prepared about the things if you've seen my videos about what to carry with you uh, which I will link here or here just check anywhere or in the description I have spoken about carrying a little bit of snacks and the actual things which can actually help you prepare and pass your time as well so you can watch that video if you want to apart from that in this they are also talking about the eligibility criteria which is 18 to 27 years of uh, age 10 plus 2 mandatories for so for ground staff it is a graduation which is mandatory and for cabin crew it is 10 plus 2 pass from a recognized board minimum height 155 centimeters bmi should fall between 18 to 22 uh, good communication skills and absolutely well groomed are some of the other things that they absolutely or you absolutely need to take in mind if you're going for an interview in any industry or any company if it is aviation to be very specific moving ahead to the questions that you're being asked so if it's a telephonic interview the questions that you're being asked are about main basically first thing is introduce yourself or a basic question tell me about yourself so questions like these the questions can be why do you want to become a cabin crew why indigo airlines why do you want to just fly a why do you dream to become a cabin crew of course and then roles and responsibilities of a cabin crew and uh, what if you are not selected or what if you don't make it this time or you don't um, make it to indigo will you apply for any other airline so questions like that some of the, them were telling me that the questions were really basic like also like what are or like how many siblings you have what are your family backgrounds education background uh, uh, some CV specific questions which you have mentioned of course they are specific because it depends what you have mentioned in your CV so I always say know what you're writing in your CV and if you haven't yet prepared your CV then highly recommend you to cover up and watch this resume series on my channel it covers everything from making a basic resume for freshers for experienced and also making it ATS proof and in case you need help you need personal help in making a resume and getting feedback on your resume and photographs then you can contact me at this email or you can visit our website to know the details where when we do the analysis and feedback and we prepare the resume for you so you can do that as well 
apart from that questions like utilization of lockdown how have you worked on yourself better uh, are you good to relocate how flexible are you safety of women current affairs can be very very uh, diverse questions so you should be prepared one thing one tip that i'll give you is do not stress on the content like what you're going to talk but how you're going to talk as well yes some questions do uh, talk about what kind of mental level do you have how mature are you but don't be very kiddish be very mature and be very confident when you talk this is a tip and do not fumble or uh, get very anxious or nervous or you know just lose the track so this is one tip that you should be uh, careful about don't take these telephonic interviews uh, you know thinking ki oh my god it's fine i will just do you know i can just clear it it's fine no if you don't do it people are actually facing rejections also so please don't take it lightly ki bhai telephonic interview hai chalta hai no it's not the case so pretty serious so either you will get a, a um like a rejection email if you have to on that day or even you're getting it after 2 to 3 days or even longer apart from that if you're getting an invite it can also take as long as a week or less or more depending upon their availability so this is tentative yeah moving on to the questions they are asking in personal interview so if you have not attended a telephonic interview and you're directly going for a walk in pi so there are going to be two rounds that you can expect one round is with the hr and second is going to be your face to face interview all in one day so in first round they will actually make group of five to six girls and they will ask you questions like generic questions like why do you want to become a cabin crew roles and responsibilities of a cabin crew why you want to be in the aviation industry pandemic lockdown cv specific questions or and also about your passport whether you're passport holder or not and if you have any tattoos or scars or marks so things like that uh post which if you get selected you will be sent to second round uh this was this was the one with the hr and the second round is going to be with a uh either with is going to be a two on one or one on one two on one means two interviewers taking your interview or one on one means just one interviewer taking your interview so it's going to be a personal face to face interview where mostly they're going to ask about your family background educational qualifications cv specific questions just to make it sure and confirm you know how you perform to talk to you on a one on one basis more personal uh things and uh, to just confirm it so yeah once you get done with this you will either be asked you'll either be asked to go back home if they don't like you or mostly after getting your face to face interview they are actually going to select you so to the selected candidates they are actually at the end of the day doing a briefing what they do it which i'm going to tell you now is extra information so if uh, you get selected they brief you about the training for ground staff the training is for 20 days uh you can expect a salary between 15 to 18k and they will talk to you about uh, the process the training how it's going to be the food and accommodation which is free the training is free there is no cost so training is absolutely free so food accommodation and transport will be provided by the company for 20 days for transport for boys they don't have transport when you start working for for the girls you do have transport provided by the company however for the boys when they don't provide transport you will get an allowance so this is the kind of information that will be provided to you once you get selected on that very day so if you have any questions related to your tenure or your job or anything you can of course go ahead and check with them after your briefing is done uh you will also be asked to wait for 15 days you'll be on hold after which they will be sending asking you to send your documents uh photographs or resume or whatever your uh, documents personal documents and after which you will be proceeding for your medicals uh failing which of course if you don't uh, clear the medicals of course there's no chance that you move forward but if you're done with medicals and training voila you're good to go and join the airline for uh, cabin crew yes there is a training fee of 50000 rupees if i'm not wrong yes and which is refundable as per the sources as per you guys yes it is refundable so yeah that's all for this video if uh, you like this video then you know the drill like the video share the video and uh, do not forget to press the bell notification button and i will see you in my next video till then take care and bye bye